started out as numbness in my feet and slowly it started to climb up from there. Started to get weaker, very clumsy. Here you have a young patient with multiple sclerosis who essentially looks like an AIDS patient in terms of their risk of infections. That's a problem. First I started with a cane, then I went to a larger cane, and then I went to a walker, and then from a walker I needed a, a wheelchair to get anywhere outside of the house. Richard Bauer is an amazing, uh, amazing young guy who uh, came to me uh, with multiple sclerosis and it was very clear that he had multiple sclerosis. I lost my hearing, dexterity was all gone in my upper extremities, slurred speech, pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad. By the time uh, he saw me, he had some permanent, or what we thought was permanent, disability. That's when Dr. Kerr explained the, the high side program. And he said, if things go well, you won't have to worry about this anymore. And he wanted to really get this. He wanted to be aggressive, upfront, go get it, do whatever we could to eradicate it. The plan was to wipe out my current immune system, bring it down to, to nothing, allow it to reboot, and the hopes being to not have the multiple sclerosis anymore. High-dose cyclophosphamide is a particular dose of a chemotherapeutic drug that eradicates the immune system, but not all of it. And the reason that it doesn't eradicate all of the immune system is that there's one particular progenitor cell, or stem cell, in everybody's own bone marrow that creates kind of new immune cells as the old ones age. Those are your bone marrow stem cells. Well, those particular stem cells essentially have an enzyme that spits out the chemotherapy, the high-dose cyclophosphamide. So they alone are resistant. But the rest of the immune system, the part of the immune system that has basically gone amok and is now attacking the individual's brain and spinal cord, is wiped out. So the idea here is to basically wipe out the immune system, start it over from the seed, the stem cell, and rebuild your immune system uh, so that it uh, no longer recognizes your body as foreign. When we first came to this idea, uh, we decided that we would hit the patient with the high-dose chemotherapy, allow the immune system to come back up, and watch. And the idea was to eliminate the abnormal immune response and totally replace that with a new immune system. The stem cells have an enzyme that inactivates cyclophosphamide, so they're completely resistant to it. So once you knock out that T-cell attack, you can then reconstitute your own immune system from these early primitive hematopoietic stem cells that are left. And we knew, based on the biology of stem cells that Rick and others had done, uh, that this dose of cytoxan was not going to kill people's stem cells, that these patients were going to recover their accounts and that the support of care had advanced to the point that uh, we could carry them through. We knew that this had a chance to cure disease. I thought it would be a really good idea to treat MS. But the therapies that have been available for multiple sclerosis, most of the endpoints have been delaying progression. Not stopping it, delaying it. So we expected that we would stabilize their disease wherever they came in, they just wouldn't get any worse. Turns out not to be true. They actually got better. So people threw away their canes. Uh, they went back to work. They started having normal relationships in their family. Things like that, that really kind of, even early on we recognized and said, this is something pretty special. We're now seeing patients actually gain function that they didn't have People able to uh, not need crutches anymore. Uh, people able to walk without a cane. Uh, people able to, to run again that, that could hardly walk. I pretty much went from, from being debilitated to getting my hearing back, getting my dexterity back. My slurred speech was gone. Um, just my feelings, that, I mean, everything was pretty much numb had, had come back. So it was, it was pretty dramatic. And then I'd say within a complete year, I'd, I'm where I am right now. It just, it was that dramatic for me. In many, but not all, the disease stayed away for as long as we have followed these people, and some people now out to six years. A treatment that can 
completely reboot the immune system so that you don't have to be on lifelong therapy for an autoimmune disease, I think is um, a real paradigm shift. She's doing much better. There's no evidence of graphosis. All right, well, we're going to get started okay. tonight. Can we start to think about cures where the MS is gone for ever? Now, we don't know the answer to that yet, but so far, so good. So of approximately 30 patients that we followed, we've got evidence for about 20 of them longer than a year. None of those 20 has any evidence of disease activity. So the disease is completely gone, as far as we know. It could come back later, um, and we'll deal with that as we go. But it seems to be, one, it's not hurting, and two, it may be increasing the chance of a long-term remission or cure of their MS.